Ten hut. Hi guys, General Splatten here. Got another update. Uh, this is a review of MicroArt Studio Chaos Bases. These are the 25 millimeter square. As you see there, MicroArt Studio Chaos Bases 20 by 20 millimeter. There's five bases to a pack, as you see there. Let's open them up, see what they look like. Back in a moment. Okay, here we have the bases unboxed. You see here, you got the Chaos Star, or part of it, the Chaos Arrows, the uh, shards of stone coming up out of the ground. You got a piece of uh, chain right here. The next one, a little more pronounced with the uh, rock formations and the piece of chain. Resin bases, they're well done. Uh, mm, not much in the way of air bubbles or defections. Piece of chain here, some of the arrows. So, next one, this one's got a piece of iron banding. And then this one, arrow on it, banding in the rock formation. So, I think there, I believe there are 10 of these actual bases and since there's only five to a pack and, and they're randomly drawn but uh, I believe there's ten variations of it these are 20 by 20 millimeter they come in 40 millimeter they come in 50 millimeter uh, they come in like uh, 50 by 100 and then there's one I think 25 by 50 for the cavalry bases so a lot of different uh, variations on these as well as round bases for these as well hold on a moment and I'll get you some photos from the uh, the, the studio paint scheme alright that's what the studio version of them look like look pretty cool so uh, I'm gonna paint up one and see what my version looks like back later I have the bases done. I want to mention right off the bat that I had these primed in gray and before I painted on the black edging for the bases the burning effect really um, blended in more with the base and its surroundings but when I added the black edging they really jumped out after that. It really frames it up nice so if you're going to get these kind of bases uh, be mindful of that to paint the edges uh, darkly I suggest black but that might not fit with your army uh, it will really make a tremendous difference on uh, seeing the base there uh, you see the brown uh, and the brown and rust effects on the chains and the banding as I pull them upward it's going to look more gray and uniform all the way around but uh, here they are uh, they turned out great one thing I want to mention though if if you get these bases be mindful of the fact that you might have some difficult difficulty with basing the figure on there if you've got a rank and file flat footed figure where they just stand there uh, then it's going to be difficult to use these type bases this is a perfect example of why as I turn this base sideways for you to see uh, unless you got figures that are posable or that can be uh, like one leg is higher than the other then you can use these type bases but if you got flat footed figures or models that you're putting on here it's going to be difficult to use these bases that's the only drawback to these bases that I see but I wanted to show you that is that it can be hard to actually physically attach the model to the base itself because of unevenness of the base going over the rock formations as you see here so be mindful of that uh, depending on uh, what kind of model you're putting with the base if you got a model that you're going to pose then certainly these can be uh, a great asset to you but if you're doing rank and file troops it may be difficult to use these type bases uh, wonderful bases uh, great product they I think they turned out pretty cool uh, just uh, very easy to paint up and to get some very very neat effects and really about a dollar a base, a little bit more, but I think well worth it. Uh, they really are cool. Got any questions, let me know. This is General Splatten, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.